have recently found myself in a deep rabbit hole of apartment videos in Bloxburg. I'm not kidding. Everywhere I go, I see apartment videos. How to build your dream Bloxburg apartment. Building our dream apartment. Bloxburg apartment tour. Apartment. Apartment. More apartments. So in today's video, I'm going to be building my dream apartment in Bloxburg. So let's get started. And you're probably like, Alaska, where is your apartment? It is all the way on the fifth floor. <laughs> so I've sketched out a little shell of the apartment. I'm thinking nice long hallway, bathroom, laundry. The kitchen can go either here or here. And then the living room can go in this corner. And then to the left, we have my bedroom. And then down here, we've got my closet. It. Pretty spacious and I am very excited to start building this thing and because we are building my dream apartment I think we're gonna do a dark modern apartment So before we do anything I'm gonna go around the entire apartment and add some wall trims because every apartment I see always has nice fancy wall trims You know what? I love watching I'm moving into a new apartment. I love those type of videos Okay, we've got all the baseboards done might cut this wall up into like one block It's because I don't want a really big apartment. I just want a cute little small apartment Also, you know what like my obsession is watching those rain apartment videos if you don't know what I'm talking about these videos right here spend the night in an inclusive luxury Miami apartment and it's just like eight hours of rain footage you know sometimes I just like to pretend I'm living in those apartments nice I don't know why it's so relaxing to me okay because we're going with a dark modern apartment the furniture is gonna be pretty dark but we're gonna break this up by having light walls so can we just talk about the fact that I layered the flooring and it didn't mess up thank you thank you very much are you kidding me? Okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. Now, for the wall texture, usually in apartments, they're all like the same color. I don't think our landlord will let us have like pink walls. We're just gonna stick to like white for the walls. If I was a landlord, I would let anyone paint their walls whatever color they want. As long as you get rid of them when you move out, you're fine. Do whatever you want. There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Now we just need to slap a roof on this thing. And then we can finally start decorating. So the first thing we're gonna do is add windows. Windows are super important because it kind of like makes the apartment look grand and i know for sure that i want to have super big windows all at the back here oh my god why am i so excited though i don't know why like stop why is that already looking so cool because i'm pretty sure i want the kitchen right here so then it backs up into the living room and i'm gonna do the same for my bedroom back here is that measured up properly no am i gonna fix it probably not <laughs> and of course we can't forget some windows in the bathroom either also you know in apartments how they have like a pillar right in the corner of the apartment like this we're gonna do this by adding a vertical cylinder and just making it reach the roof perfect Perfect. Oh, and we can't forget some like modern pillars around the house. Okay, so I guess we can start off with the entryway, which is going to be here. Maybe we can add like a nice carpet like, as soon as you walk in. See, having an apartment would sound cool, but like what would annoy me is having to get all your groceries from the first floor. Like what if you forgot your groceries in the car and your apartment's like on the top floor? You'd have to go all the way back down, get your stuff again, and then come back. See that? I feel like that would annoy me. Also, every apartment I see on Pinterest always has a console table as soon as you walk in and they always have like a bunch of shopping bags on here with their groceries they forgot to bring in with some key cake key Kick with some key keys with some car keys. Okay, what else can we have on here? Maybe a little plant. You know, another thing that would annoy me about moving into an apartment is moving all of your furniture. I've never moved, so I don't know how annoying it is. Also, this is looking too crowded right now, so I'm gonna fix it. See, that already looks 10 times better. I don't want it too crowded in here. Every apartment needs their shoes by the entryway. And there we go. You know what? Not too schnabby, not too schnabby at all. Now, the next thing I wanna do is the kitchen, I think. Oh guys, should we spoil ourselves today? Should we use the most expensive? modern pantry cabinets you know what yeah why not who cares my bank account cares <laughs> stop this madness what do you want from me? What do you want? Hashtag, I'm going poor, send help. Wait, I have a little dilemma. So if I want to have pantries up the top here and then put the oven like at the bottom, where's the steam from the oven going to go? Do you know how usually I put a hood light above the oven? I mean, technically the oven's going in there. So who needs a hood light? Who cares? Okay, we can either have like black kitchen like this. Okay, you know what? We're having a black kitchen. That is stunning. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping. I've already made up my mind. We're having a black kitchen. And then at the back here, we can have custom wallpaper. I actually cannot wait to like get my own apartment and decorate it. Oh my god, should I make like a real life channel and just start doing that? Have little apartment vlogs. That would be kind of cute. <gasps> you know what I just realized? <laughs> Oh my god, where's the fridge gonna go? I'm dumb. Yeah, not me forgetting to add a fridge. I can already bet with you 100%. Someone's already commented. Alaska, where's your fridge? I already know it. I can feel it in my bones. Someone's already commented that. 
I mean, hey, if we want to go like that extra bit fancy, we can make this a smart fridge. Adding a cubes and then you just get a taped photograph, resize it so it's like really big. And then using the transform tool, you kind of just plop this up against the fridge. I saw this TikTok and someone was like texting someone through their fridge. If you have a smart fridge at your house, you should um <clears throat> give it to me. Who needs a smart fridge? Yeah, you should definitely give it to me. So there we go, got our smart fridge. I want to keep this kitchen as minimalistic and clean as you can get. Literally all I want to place here is a coffee machine and a plant. That is all. The we're also gonna have a little led light at the bottom here and there we go we've got the first half of our kitchen done and then we just need the island bench which is also gonna act as the dining table or we can break this up by adding wood instead of black okay don't get me wrong dark furniture is very nice like i personally have dark furniture but it is so annoying to clean oh, that didn't take too long I feel lightheaded. Also, for some reason, I hate the way this vase looks. I'm gonna get a round decorative vase, put it in the middle, and using advanced placement, we're gonna cover it up. See, I feel like that looks better. I also realized that we do not have a stove. We're gonna have the stove on the island bench, which is a little bit different, but I mean, it works. Okay, finally, some dark modern stools. And for the lighting, we're gonna use pendants. Oh, that looks pretty. Also, how I got this very natural looking lighting was the two lights on the end, I used flint, and then the light in the middle, I used nougat. Why do I have an accent when reading that? Now for the living room. This actually kind of makes perfect sense because here we can have the tv unit okay i looked up dark modern apartment in pinterest look how gorgeous this is like the lighting oh mwah, chef's kiss Boxburg has these massive entertainment centers i've only used them once so you know what we're gonna use them today although i don't like the clutter on the end so i'm just gonna cover this up by adding a pantry cabinet oh <gasps> stop that is stunning my only question is how on earth would you get this up here like technically it would be already pre-built into the apartment that was a stupid question obviously it would be pre-built into the apartment and i guess at the top here we can just have our books because I love my books. I literally have like over 20 books in my room. Nerd. Have I read any of them? That is another question. <laughs> I also want to light up the back of this TV unit. If we put curved wall lamps at the back of this TV and paint it like a cool pink color like this, it'll turn out something like this. Oh, <gasps> that is sickening. That's sickening. I could just place down a simple carpet, but that's kind of boring. So we're going to do a custom made rug. Okay, how do we do custom made rugs again? I think it was um huge plain painting. And once I've placed all my furniture down, you can just slap this right on the bottom and you have a custom made carpet. It's like a dark modern lounge. I I think we have a corner lounge. You know what? These sophisticated lounges, they look pretty comfy. You know what these remind me of? The influencers that have the cloud lounges. See, this lounge, I feel like every influencer has this lounge. And I want one so bad. They look so comfortable. You know what? For the table, usually I would custom make it, but this modern table kind of goes with the vibe. So we're going to use this instead. Well, well, well. How the turntables. For some reason, I never know how to place pillows properly on lounges. <laughs> I always struggle with it. Even the lounge I have in my house, the pillows look so awkward because I don't know how to place them so hey if you got any tips on how to place pillows let me know and a nice cozy blanket for when you're ready to snuggle up and watch a movie okay i know for a fact i want these to be black lounges i've had black lounges once they did not last long the amount of cat fur that would go on top oh my days half of the time i would spend cleaning it rather than sitting on it okay so this lounge i want to be black and then to break it up these lounges can be wood like that that is nice this is actually making me want to buy an apartment just so i can decorate it with you guys <laughs> i have a funny story with these books so my sister actually spent you're gonna be shocked but she spent like $80 on one of these books this Chanel book collection I'm like why would you spend that much money and she's like oh because they were pretty and I'm like you know what watch me find these books for cheaper so I made it my life mission find the books for cheaper and guess what someone was selling an entire designer book collection for how much you may ask $15 do I give it to her no I keep it for myself <laughs> I'm kidding I gave it to her what am I gonna do with designer books eat them if I can't eat them then I don't want them okay last but not least we just need the rug and then voila we have our living room <gasps> there's this one like person on tiktok i feel like you guys have definitely seen the video because it's got like 80 million views <laughs> she has like this rainy apartment and it literally looks so relaxing I want to go to there. The thing with this apartment is I don't know if I want to add curtains. I swear, I do not remember the last time I've seen someone with an apartment and they have shut the curtains. I always shut my curtains though because I'm like, what if someone's watching you outside of your window? Ain't no way. My windows, they always have to be shut. 
So we're just gonna add like two on the end. Now the next thing I wanna do in my apartment is my bedroom. This is what I'm looking forward to the most. I wanna make this bedroom exactly like that TikTok video. Okay, this is the video. See what I mean? I want my bedroom to feel exactly what it feels like when you type up rainy apartment. Like this, yes. Usually I would have my bed in the middle, but to make the vibes immaculate, we're gonna have it right on the corner. Oh, I would take the fattest naps right there. And the fact we're doing a dark modern room as well makes it feel like 10 times more cozy. Actually, you know what would make this look really cozy? If we layered the blanket. I'm actually so happy Bloxburg added blankets to the game. Like they're still fairly new, but like I genuinely cannot picture Bloxburg without pillows and blankets. <laughs> Finally. I'm going to be adding a ton of pillows to this bed. I'm telling you, I want this bed to look like the comfiest bed you have ever seen in your life. Would it be annoying to get into when you're going to sleep? Yes, but hey, at least it's comfy. For a final touch, have a little cat and then boom. <coughs> that looks so comfortable. I'm literally going to add steps leading up to the bed. Why? Because this is my dream apartment. In my dream apartment, I would have steps. Oh, stop. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. And then we can have a tiny bedside table right here. We have like a little indent here. I feel like this would be the perfect spot to place a little office. So I reckon if we have a pantry cabinet there, then use a basic shape for our vanity table. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if this works. Okay, so that's how our office is done. I feel like right here would be the perfect spot to add the TV. And luckily for us, Bloxburg added these little roof TVs. So we can place it right on the edge of the bed. We have a TV right there, which is perfect. Now back here is where we're gonna have my closet. We're gonna keep this very simple and just add like two closets here a mirror in the corner and then there we have our very simple straight to the point closet i hate when i have like long hallways like this i always have to fill them in i hate having empty hallways it creeps me out like why are you just empty and ominous Oh, maybe we can have like a pantry at the back here where we have like all our linens. So now that our little hallway's done, we can move on to the bathroom. We've got a pretty like nice layout for this bathroom. Like it is pretty spacious for an apartment. Although I might add an extra wall here just so we have more privacy for the toilet. Because I mean, there is pretty big windows. <laughs> so it makes sense that the toilet's here. Also for the walls, you know what? We're going to go granite. Maybe some storage units above the toilet with our stacks of toilet paper. <laughs> and then for the bathtub, wait, do they have those um, round bathtubs that go in the corner? Oh, they do. They have a modern corner bath okay that actually fits perfect which means i think we can fit the sink here but we can't forget our soap i remember seeing a comment yesterday someone sent a very detailed paragraph on how much they hate the fact that i do not add soap to my sinks so whoever commented that here you go i'm, I'm adding soap just for you it's what she deserves Oh my and then finally, we just need the shower. Every single apartment always has this shower with these shower curtains. I hate shower curtains. I have a fear of them. Like what if you're just showering and you feel something touch your back and you think it's like a murderer or something and it's just a shower curtain. Like, no. I remember I had a really bad fear of showering when I was little. Not showering, but like washing my hair. You know when you got to close your eyes when washing your hair? I'm like, what if a monster eats me while my eyes are closed and I can't do anything? I'm defenseless. Why do they have a shampoo plus conditioner? Just have like separate shampoo and conditioner. One of my friends has a five in one. Why would you need that many? Okay, there is our sink. So now that the bathroom's done, the last thing we need to do is the laundry room. Now that I think of it, why do I make these in separate rooms? It's like the laundry and the bathroom should be in the same room, but oh well. I used to hate doing laundries. I never knew what to do, but I feel like I've gotten the hang of them now. See, now, now I'm a professional, actually, at doing sinks. Call me Mario. What does Mario have to do with law? Like, what? What did I say? I talk a lot, so I've learned to just tune myself out. Y'all, sometimes I just be saying the most random things. You guys should be used to it at this point, let's be honest. Now, it wouldn't be a laundry room if we didn't have, well, obviously, laundry. You know what annoys me about this clothing basket? Why does it literally look like kitty litter? That's one thing that annoys me with Bloxburg. Why can we not change the material of this? And our laundry room is complete. Just kidding. No, it's not. Get pranked. Still need cleaning equipment. Laundry detergent? Since when did Bloxburg add laundry detergent to the game? What? I mean, that's cool, but we can't change the color, so. <laughs> so I'd say our apartment is all complete. I just realized we do not have a way to get up into the apartment. <laughs> that's going to be a problem. Okay, let me just quickly come up with something this is a totally safe option to get into our apartment okay totally safe so my dream apartment is finally done and comes to a total of a hundred and three thousand dollars also what is this name apartment woo apartment dream what whatever that means so to make our way up to the apartment we've got to go up this very sketchy staircase very safe i promise you i promise i did not fall up this the first time filming so this is the way we get up to the apart oh oh and you're probably wondering alaska why are you making it raining right now you will know why once we go inside so as soon as we open the doors we are greeted by the gorgeous entryway you know i'm kind of annoyed looking at this because it's like this is not fair i want to live here right now in real life <laughs> 
Like we have got our little slippers, our little groceries. It's so cute. I love it. And then straight to the right, we have the laundry room. Can you actually wash clothes in Bloxburg? Wait, let me see. Oh, <gasps> wait, you can? Wait, why have I never done this? Oh, <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, I'm washing clothes right now. It's oh, it's moving. But I look possessed by the devil right now. Wait, that is so cool. And you take them out. Oh, now I'm drying my clothes. Stop. This is how you can tell I'm a builder in Bloxburg, not a role player, because I don't know any of this stuff. Why am I so intensely watching my clothes getting dried? Like, girl, calm down. And then if we make our way back out, we've got the kitchen. The kitchen is definitely my favorite part of this apartment. Like, it's so stunning. I don't even know how to cook and I want to be in here cooking all day. Also, the reason I made it rain is because look how gorgeous this looks when it is raining. Oh, and if you think this is cool, wait till we get to the bedroom. So yes, kitchen, very nice. We even have a little smart fridge over here. I love how it says light rain as well. And then over here we have the living room. You know what? The custom carpet definitely came in clutch. If this was my apartment in real life, I would sit here all day and watch Netflix. Actually, you know what? We need to turn on this TV. Gordon, my man, I've missed you. Give me a nice little smooch. Oh my God, guys, don't look. Give us privacy, please. You know, I haven't watched this. Let's watch it. This is my first time actually turning on the TV and watching this channel. So what, what's, what's he doing? What is that? The two main causes together! Shit! Stop lying to me! Ooh, this is intense. <laughs> Why am I like unironically watching this channel right now? Girl, focus. Back to the tour. So now if we go down this hallway, this hallway was originally very boring, but I think I made it look nice. So to the left here, we have the bathroom. I can't get over how nice this apartment looks. Like I want this in real life. I want to have a bath right here and enjoy the rain. I think adding the wall here was a nice touch because it definitely gives like the person using the toilet some privacy. Not me though, because I already know that about 500 of you just screenshotted that photo. So moving on. <laughs> Yep. So this is the bedroom. We've got a stunning little office right here. You can sit down and do all your work while enjoying the rain. And then once you've done your work, you can make your way to this very, very comfortable bed. Tell me this doesn't look straight out of that TikTok video I showed you before. Like, can you picture just sitting here and watching your TV? Like this, this is the life. My Bloxburg avatar having a better life than me. <laughs> the closet's pretty basic. It's just like a massive walk-in closet with a mirror and that's about it. And if you're wondering what the apartment looks like when it isn't raining, this is it. The sun reflects into pretty pretty much the entire apartment, making it very like bright. And then this is what the apartment looks like at nighttime. Again, very, very cozy, except the fact that there is just a massive ghost over there. There's also like no privacy. Like I feel like if I was standing right here and there was someone over there, you could see me from like ages away. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me building my dream apartment in Bloxburg. I'd love to eventually build like my own entire apartment complex. That would be pretty cool. So if you guys would like to see something like that, definitely comment it and let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.